CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here. Good morning. Good morning. The defense argument, six minutes at the end, what do you make of their strategy? Well, what they had was a witness, and only one witness, that they called for six minutes. And that witness was a detective who had already testified for the prosecution. Strategy is clear. It's, we don't need to dignify this case with a response. This is a case built on reasonable doubt. We don't have to put on any independent witnesses of our own. We're going to recall the government's witness, a detective, to show what he left out. And what did he leave out? Well, it's the fact that Andrea Constant and Bill Cosby spent a little time at the Foxwoods Casino. And that that really was to say, see, they're not telling you the truth. Mm. They also asked to see his deposition from 2005. That's where he called the pills that he gave Andrea Constant his friends. And they, they said they need to see the whole context of that. What does that say to you? What it says to me is that they're being a thorough, good jury, that they are going through the evidence piece by piece. If you have the first day of deliberations, they deliberated four hours. This is not a case of where they all say, let's take a straw vote and let's go home. What they're saying is, let's go through all of the evidence the way that we should. But that now, in particular, though, Ricky, the fact well, that, that they in particular, that, we, yeah. I think what it tells us is this, that Andrea Constant talked about that. But more important, Bill Cosby corroborated Andrea Constance's testimony by saying that he was going to give her three pills, then he says that they were three halves of Benadryl and that they were her friends to relax her. Now, one might say, well, he really was there to relax her and make her feel better about a sexual encounter that was consensual. Mm. Or was he really looking to drug her? Mm. What do you make of the, rake, the, the makeup of the jury? Because Cosby at one point said that he thought race may have played a, a role here. What is the makeup of the jury? The makeup of the jury is seven men and five women. And of those people, you have one African-American man, one African-American woman. I think it's always important to look at the whole context. Jurors bring life experience into the jury box and into deliberations. So an older person versus a younger person, a black person versus a white person may have very different life experiences. How do we know that? Look at the jury in O.J. Simpson. The, I know you want to look at the closing arguments for just a second, and I really want to talk about both briefly, but the defense closing argument we have to look at. What you've got in Michael McMonagall is an orator of supreme brilliance. This is a guy who literally shouted and he whispered. And what he let us know was he used Camille Cosby to say, hey, he's a philanderer, but he's not a criminal, and shame on him. All right, Ricky Kleeman, thank you very much. We'll all be watching today.